what you talking about now, saying? I don't know, but you're going to get some nuggets out of it, though. But first, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn that bell on. There's a new video series dropping every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with a random jam session whenever I'm in my bag. You do not want to miss out. Also, be sure to check out my books, man. The link's in the description below right along with my vegan class if you're trying to go plant-based and stay plant-based. I'm telling you, it works. Oh, and lastly, be sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore just underscore scene underscore. The nuggets I don't put over here, I put over there so you can all always get me when you need me but you ain't really coming for all of that peace love knowledge and freedom i'm out you feel what i mean if your large intestine is not working correctly that means nothing's being absorbed right so if that if it's not being absorbed that's where you get your constipation that's where you get you know your uh your issues there your, your anal issues you feel me no pun intended but that's where you get those issues and if you're not if you're not uh properly taking care of yourself and you're not probably doing what you're supposed to do What's going to happen is that you're going to be back, backed up and blocked. And so now you have to take protein powders because the protein powders are now catered to do what? Be digested in your, large, in your small intestine where protein is not supposed to be digested at. You feel me? So it's like, okay, yeah. Now I know this system. I know this system is, is set up like this. And now, okay, we're going to create, we're going to fuck up the large intestine, but it still need protein. So now we're going to force like all of the protein you think you eating, you ain't getting. Because the protein is digesting in the large intestine and you eat all of this meat, you eat all this animal flesh and it's doing nothing but decaying in your large intestine. Your large intestine has died. It can't, it can't absorb protein even if it wanted to. You feel me? So they tell you, oh, you need 56 grams of protein a day if you're a man, like 48 if you're a woman or some shit like that. You need these, right? But they tell you, okay... You're not going to, like, they're telling you that you can get all this stuff from protein, but then telling you, you're, you're, but, okay, they tell you you can get all this protein from meat, right? This is what they say. But yet, somehow, you can still be protein deficient, eating all of this meat when you go to the hospital. And they said, we're going to recommend you to get on a protein, a protein powder diet. Why? That defeats the fucking purpose. Like, if, if I'm supposed to be able to get all of the protein I need, something's off. That's because your large intestine is completely broken down from the meat that you eat. Therefore, no protein is being digested. So you need these protein powders so they can start absorbing in the small intestine first before they even hit, you know what I mean? Before they even have to get to the um, large intestine. But then that's where you get your constipation to sit from. Because a lot of this protein, because it has casein in it, because it has milk product in it, it, blo it blows you. You feel what I'm saying? Plot twist of protein is that your body makes it on its own when it has amino acids in it. You feel me? Why don't they tell you that? Because you fuck up their money if you do. You feel me? You, you fuck up that money. So it's like, this is what I'm saying. So before you can, the point is, before you can actually go plant-based, you have to detox. But in the, in the detox, you can't just remove the toxins. You have to heal what the toxins have destroyed. You dig what I mean? You have to heal what the toxins have destroyed, which means you have to first clean the whole intestine out, and then you have to, re, you have to uh, start to basically refurbish it. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like the best way to do that is first like... And, so if you if you pay attention, if you've seen the first plant based series that I did, and if you read Hitting the Raw, you even in the course or whatnot, then you know that what I talk about with the um with the healing of the intestines, right? So that has to be done first. Like your detox, like they tell you, okay, we take these herbal detoxes and shit, right? Even even the herbal ones. And that's the thing in the song, right? The word detox, detoxify. That means you are put after you detox, what are you redoing? What are you doing again to need another detox? You're putting more toxins in. You dig what I mean? So again, all of these toxins where they're supposed to be expelled after they pass all the way through the large intestine, they're supposed to be expelled from the rectum. They're sitting there and recycling back into your body. You dig what I mean? So we have to, when we first consider going plant-based, you can't just jump into the shit and tell a motherfucker, hey, go plant-based, just stop eating meat. It's not possible. Like I said, you gotta overcome your food addiction first. You gotta first acknowledge, I have a food addiction. I have a food addiction. You feel me? Not justify it because it's like, well, I was hungry. That's the easiest scapegoat out of this shit. Why'd you eat so much? I was still hungry. You weren't hungry. The parasites in your body were hungry. They took all your nutrients first and you got what was left and you didn't get anything. Because they're sitting where? In that, in that descending colon. They're sitting in your large intestine. Why are they sitting in your large intestine? Because it's dead. They don't, they don't thrive in, in, a, in a vital body. It's a, you're, you're, our large intestines are, are decomposing in real time. This is why the parasites are able to stay there. You feel me? If you watch something die in nature, right? 
it has this thing called faunal succession, right? Where you get the, the maggots, the flies, and then you get the scavenging bugs. Like, you get all of that shit that comes in it, right? Then you have the worms coming and all that shit. Like, those worms are in your body, too. So that means whatever it is that you're eating, wherever they feed, is, is dead. And they're able, they're able to thrive because you're dying.